hello wonderful people welcome back to my channel if you are new here can you like this video comment and subscribe to this channel so that anytime i upload a video you're going to be the first person to be notified my team and i are also willing to assist you studying that dream country share scholarship opportunities share universities that are waiving application fee for you to save a lot of money for your visa application so if this is something that interests you like this video hit the notification bell so that anytime i upload a video you're gonna be the first person to be notified guys let me take this opportunity to wish you merry christmas and a prosperous new year and i i'm pray i pray and hope that a year by now most of you guys will be studying in your dream country and you're going to study with that good full scholarship that all this while you've been seeking for and also those who also apply for the american lottery i am praying that you're going to be the next winner or you're going to be selected in may 2024 guys in today's video i'd like to share with you a university here in the u in the u.s which is waiving application fee and it's going to give you admission in two weeks no test score, no essays, and this same university is making sure that when you apply, you're going to get admission in two weeks. In my previous video, I think the second or third video in my episode, I made mention of universities that are waiving application fee, waiving test score, waiving other factors. And I mentioned this same university. Some of my viewers applied to this university they got the admission they deserve and when they spoke to me about it i realized that this school has good scholarships but guys i've in my i've made a video if you want to watch my previous video kindly watch my previous one i want to pin it here the reasons why you're supposed to write the test score though they are waiving the test score but the admission committee really considers the test score when they are giving scholarship they gave some of the undergraduates twenty four thousand dollar scholarship which is going to be what awarded each year and they were they were told the admission committee or the graduate admission or the undergraduate admission informed them that if they have the test score then they are willing to what give them the good or full right scholarship they are seeking for so though they are waiving application fee i will urge all my viewers to make sure they are writing the test score and submit the test score which will go a way forward to help you secure that full ride scholarship so guys without wasting much time let's go straight into the laptop and let me show you this university so guys as we normally do google is our friend and the name of this university is what wingate university so if you not watched my previous video you can check it out I've, i made mention of over 12 universities that were even application fee so the university's name is wingate university so you just search wingate go to google search wingate university so once you search it, this is how you're going to see it. You have Wingate. You can, the first option mostly is the right website for you to use to go to the university's website. And um, Wingate University, this is, the uni this is the university, and they have, you need to check factors. The factors are what the acceptance rate and the graduation rate. And the acceptance rate is 85%. They have a high acceptance rate and they have a good 50% graduation rate. This university is a, what, a private university and located in north north carolina so now we can click on the website which will take us straight into the university's website so once you go to university's website the first thing you're supposed to do is go to academics and check if the program that the university is offering is something that you are interested in most of you guys will send me a message after my videos that i should still help you to apply guys if you follow the steps i'm giving you there's no need for me to still guide you because a lot of right now we have over 3,000 subscribers and everyone i cannot help everyone to apply that's why i make videos like this so that you're gonna follow my steps to apply so guys just follow the steps as i'm teaching you go come to the university's website as i'm here the first thing is go to what academics and check this is academics you have majors and minors so you go to major 
L minus. That is how you're going to find the programs the university is offering. So we click here and we're going to check the programs the university is offering. So if you, if you are a graduate student, you can just click here. It's going to filter what only graduate programs the university is offering. And if you are undergraduate, you can just click here to show you the undergraduate programs. So we are going to go through all the majors. Oh, okay, let's click on undergraduate. So this is an undergraduate program. They have accounting, biology, chemistry, chemistry and business, communication. Um, they have criminal justice, English, educational exercise, science, finance. Um, they have history, marketing, management, mathematics. They have nursing. Most of you guys have been asking me universities that are offering nursing. This university is offering nursing, political science, public health, psychology, religious, sociology, and teacher education. So guys, these are the whole undergraduate program. So let's check the graduate. We click on graduate. It's going to take us to the graduate program. So the graduate program, they have accounting, graduate education, management. They have occupational therapy, pharmacy, physical therapy, physician assistant, public health, social work and sports management so once you are done um if let's say one of the programs is something that interests you what you're going to do is that we're just gonna click on it you go to the, the department's website and check if you can what send code emails to professors you, they, sometimes too there might be scholarship available to what the, 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 the department itself so guys let's pick public health for instance let's pick public health and go into the department's website and check it out. So here we have public health. Here, this is the department's website here. So once you are here, you need to read. As a student who wants to study, one habit you need to cultivate is the habit of what? Reading. You need to read. Don't send code emails to professors. Whilst what you are asking for is on the university's website. So you come here. So they have major requirements. So you need to read the major requirements of the public health program and we have a um, study plan here and we have career opportunities we have faculty so we can click on the faculty we have faculty members here which you can send what code emails so if let's say we check on this one um the email is here this is dr shanta dube so you can say dr dear dr dube on your code email you use, mostly use the same name to address them and this is the Dr. Dobe's email address to send code emails. Ask them if there is any external or internal scholarships available to the school or the department you are applying. It's very important. So guys, from here, we, we cannot check other factors. So we have the, um, okay, this is the faculty and the career opportunities. If you are studying uh, public health, the career opportunities, you can also search for this is the vision the values of the in the asking what is public health you need to have time and read about the goals the visions of the department and all that if there is scholarship you need you got to read and find out so guys right now after you had after you realize that the university is what offering the program of interest the next thing is to do is what go and check the admissions requirement if you meet admissions requirement if you're applying for undergraduate you check undergraduate admissions requirement if it's graduate that you're applying you check graduate admissions requirement so how are you going to do that so we come here you have apply you're applying if you're applying you need to check admissions requirement so we come to the under undergraduate admissions so after that we check graduate admissions as well so now we are here at the undergraduate um, admissions portal and we made the application easy and affordable you make applications easier. And when you apply, you take advantage of these benefits. It's very important here. No application fee. No essay required. No test score or test score is optional. No immediate official transcript required. Official transcript are not required. So when you, be, when you are being admitted, that is when you are supposed to send what? Official transcript to this university. So why now? You are applying with unofficial. Unofficial transcript is a transcript you took from the school. Official transcript is a transcript the school itself, the university you completed or the high school you completed. Send it directly to the university here in the US. That's making it official. So guys, it's very good news here. No application, no essay required. Test score is optional. 
Tesco is optional. As at the beginning of the video, I, I informed you that Tesco is optional, but admission committee will consider the Tesco. So guys, make sure you are writing the SAT if you're applying for undergraduate and if you're applying for graduate at, uh, application, make sure you're writing a GRE and to secure that, those full scholarships. If you don't want to get right these exams, then it will be difficult for you to secure that full right scholarship you've been seeking. Knowing you'll be eager to hear from us, you can count on your decision within two weeks. That's the good news here. Within two weeks of submitting your complete application. If admitted, you even find out how much merit scholarship you've earned. So that's why I informed you that a few weeks ago, I did a video about 12 universities with an application and I mentioned this university. Some of my viewers applied and they've gotten admission in two weeks. In exactly two weeks, they got the admission. Some got $27,000 and their graduate scholarship and others got to $24,000 applicant. And it's gonna be repeated all the four years during the undergraduate program so guys this is good news and this is something you don't need to joke about it right so right now that we've gotten to know the undergraduate application you can now go ahead and check what the graduate applications as well so this is the graduate application so we can now click on it so we click here it will take us the graduate so let's check for graduate applications as well so with our graduate application we have masters in accounting Masters in Business Administration, Graduate Education, Sports Management, Public Health, your Occupational Therapy. So guys, you just need to go to the department and check it out. Um, the scholarships available to the department, you are interested in what? Applying. So this is a good news for us, guys, so you don't need to joke. So let's check it out. Scholarships available to this university. After you check the program of interest, if your program they are interested, your school, the school is offering your program. You, the next thing is for you to go to the department to check if there are faculty members that you can or send code emails. After that, you check the admissions requirement if you meet the admissions requirement. And also, the last thing to check the university if they have scholarships available to international students. So, guys, let's check that out and um, let's check it out if they are um, financial aid. So, we come here, we have financial aid here. So, we click on it. You're going to check if there are scholarships for international students. So, guys, um, they say financial aid is available. Yes, it's available. And we encourage you to use the net price calculator to see how affordable Wingate can be. So, you can use this calculator. You click here, then you check it out. And um, they are financial aid frequently asked questions. You can check that one too out. And uh, we have types of aid. So we click on types of aid for us to find out which are the types. FAFSA scholarships for citizens. You are not a citizen. It doesn't apply to you. So you now go to, you have grants and scholarships. International students should be checking out grants and scholarships. That's the most important thing. And we have work study. These are campus jobs which are available to international students. Where international students. So you can click here, work study, and read about it, learn more just read more about it and we have the grants and scholarships as well so let's check the grants and scholarships guys so at the, under the grants and scholarship the university or has a lot of scholarship and the for undergraduate studies so they have academic merit scholarship Evan bell scholarship gateway scholarship you have presidential scholarship transfer scholarship trustee scholarships so guys there this university has a lot of scholarship so if it's gateway scholarship that you are interested you click on it the other universities are not showing because once you have a good grade, you are able to write a good statement of purpose. Though they are waving it, but if you're able to write a good statement of purpose, they, and you're able to explain to them, probably you got a low GPA. And what is motivate? What in, what made you got that low GPA? And what is your future plans after getting that knowledge during the undergraduate or the graduate education? If it's, it is something that the admission committee, it's what touches them, then they can now what? give you the other scholarship. So this is the gateway scholarship. So you can request more information. You need to read more about it. There are tests, there are questions that you, if, yes. So you can, and they have bra, the Brazil scholarships, route to um, Wingate. You have gateway to Wingate. So guys, these are stuff that you, you yourself, you need to what? 
be reading and check it out. So the ones that you want to apply, you read about it. If it's, if it's you are eligible to apply, then you go ahead and apply. It's very simple, guys. It's very simple, and you just need to be reading to find out how this university can just go away forward and what help you. So, guys, let me show you the last thing. The last thing I'm, I'm I need to show you is that um the admissions is a rolling admissions yes the admission is a rolling admissions so you are not too late to apply if you have not applied to this university you can still go ahead to apply so we we, we come to the guy undergraduate admissions you're gonna check to so apply to wingate let's check how you're gonna apply so as you are here to apply you need to put in your information your first name last email address and you need to add a password which contains capital letters, small letters, and what? Any symbol that you you, are, you need. And you, you just click and start your application. And you'll be able to start your application. So, um, let's check the... Let's check the um, yeah, undergraduate admissions. You need to check the undergraduate admissions out. And check the deadline for this university. Yeah, so guys, and if you are writing the SAT, this is the SAT code, the code that you're supposed to use to send your res results to the university. This is the SAT code. After you are done with the SAT, you'll be given opportunity to send your results to for you for your universities for free. When you write the exams and you are not able to do that, after that, anytime you send your score from ETS to any university, you're going to pay that for that. For that, um, for for you to send your score to that university, yeah. So guys, so let's check out international student application type. International student. So, um, international student graduate policy. Fill out application for admission to Wingate for semester application has be seen no later than June first. So you can check it here. June first. This is you. So right now you have more time to apply till June first. Spring applications must be received by November. So I know that that one is passed. You need an email, a copy of your passport. You need to email a copy of your passport. Submit your original and official transcript with the certified English um, translation to the, to the Office of Admissions. Include high school transcript and college transcript if applicable. And um, yeah, and um, submit official um, standardized test score. This is a test score. The, which is the SAT, which is Scholastic Aptitude Test. That's the full meaning of SAT exams. Yeah, so guys, um, this is basically the information you need to apply to this university. Most of the guys, most of my viewers who applied to this university were able to secure admission as well as what? Full, their good scholarship. So if you want to secure full scholarship, then you need to write there. So apply, apply as international student, so you want to apply as international student. So you can now create a username and a password to apply. So guys, I'm going to end this video today. And make sure you are writing the SAT exams and the GRE to secure that scholarship. Most of you come to me, I need full scholarship, I need full scholarship. Guys, if you're not paying the price to get a full scholarship, there's no way you will get that full scholarship you've been looking for. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, like this video, comment and subscribe if this is your first time here. Let's grow this channel. My team and I will be willing to assist you to study in that dream country, share with you scholarship opportunities, universities waiving application fee, to, for you to save a lot of money on your application. Guys, thank you. And if you want to know, if not watch my previous video, I'm gonna pin it up here and down here. And if you're not subscribed, you can click here to subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys. I love you for the support shown me.